Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create multiple levels for a game. So uh, if we go to markers and just go to player start and I'm just going to add in a couple of quick entities. We're going to have a portaloo and we're going to have a second portaloo. So the idea is we are now faced with the magical portaloo of transport. So basically, as you approach this object, um, that's going to transport you to the next level. So I've just added in a, a very basic thing here. So we've got the start and we've got the portaloo. And then all I'm going to do is go down and get a wind zone. We're going to click on the wind zone. Now you need to be aware of the influence of the wind zone. So I'm going to click on these little tags here and stretch it out so as we approach um, it will be triggered so basically if you land anywhere in this zone um, you can trigger a new level load so if I then click on this bit here and then go to properties then what I'm going to do is type in level 2 and that's it uh, just type in the uh, level you wish to load so apply changes and that will then be updated so I'm just going to save this now so I'm going to save this as level 1. And then I'm going to click on this and delete it. And I'm going to go back to my entities and I'm going to add in that blue portaloo. I'm going to add that there. And what I'm going to do now is a blue portaloo, isn't it? Uh, must be. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do there is click on this and then go to properties and what I'm going to do is type in level 1 and then accept changes or apply changes and then I'm going to save this as level 2. I'm going to save that. So now what we're going to have is a game situation where we're just looping between level 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2. So you can basically create an infinite game this way where you're just um, swapping between levels. Now the first thing you should be aware of, so if I load up 1, first thing you should be aware of, if you test it like you do here, then it will not work. It does not work in a... Um, a test game mode. What you'll get is a message telling you that this has been triggered. So I'll show you what happens in test game mode. So I'll now approach this and now it says jump to level 2. So that's how you know it's working in the test mode. So I'm just going to exit that. Now what I'm going to do, we've loaded level 1 again, so I'm going to click on file and and save standalone and we'll let it do its magic so as you can see it now gives you a location of where everything is so if I go to that directory you've got level 1 there and if I double click on level1.exe and click on start. So about the speed of this, my laptop is uh, um, an old Lenovo uh, T420, so HD 3000 graphics I'm afraid. I need to upgrade. And there we go, so we got our fast port first portal loose, so if I approach this now we'll get a nice fade to black sequence. and then it loads the next level. And that is as easy as that, so uh, um, simply create a wind zone, give it the uh, the level name you wish to deploy, and then it'll load the level. So there we go, we got a blue portaloo this time. So again, if I approach this, it should load the previous portaloo.
And there you go. So uh, this will now be an infinite cycle between port and lose, but uh, that's how you load a new level in Game Guru.